Hi everyone, I'm back. So this is kind of like a part two to the John Bead unboxing. Oh my goodness. So this is Bead Heaven Seed Beads. Let's take a look at this one here. This is um, a pound of bugles. <laughs> so it's funny when, um, when Carmi talked to me about getting some stuff from their site she's like you know they're very big bags and i'm thinking good <laughs> so i bought some john bead bugles oh years ago on amazon so you can buy these on amazon and um yeah i just uh i'm trying to think what i made with them so I still have lots left, but I, so, so some of what I do is I do up little, I usually do up baggies. I prefer to do it in containers, but then I ship them to people as giveaways. Um, so it's, it's better, it's cheaper for shipping and the containers don't get damaged and stuff like that. So I usually do them in baggies and I, I feel like depending on how you organize your beads me sending you a bottle that's different from what you put your stuff in because i end up sometimes taking them out of bottles and putting them oh my gosh okay this is like heaven doing a factory pack unboxing i just have to say it's like one of those things you think Oh, if I had a whole bunch of beads, I could play with them in my hand like this. These are gorgeous. So, yeah, I, I bought some um, six millimeter bugles. And I bought a couple of different colors. And I've used them in designs and then given some away. And I'm trying to think what I used them in because it was something that you needed a lot of bugles for. It was a, a bead woven uh, bracelet. These are gorgeous. So let me see. It just says white, but they look like they're uh, alabaster. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> I'm getting so excited. I'm getting chest pain. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> but I'll take one for the team. These are stunning. So let me get a size on these. I think they're six. They look about that oh these are um nine yeah they are kind of big and they're um thicker whoa this is we can make some really cool stuff with this so we're gonna put them in these lovely test tubes that i get so i can kind of display them on my shelf and decide what to do with you know, if I'm trying to come up with a project, these are a bit awkward. I need help. Help. Okay, let's do that. Okay, that's, that's a lot of beads. And we'll get a tray in my newly organized <laughs> desk. Wow, look at that. These are lovely. I feel like I should have wrapped these like Christmas presents. <laughs> Don't waste your time with with wrapping when it comes to Emma. Like rip, rip. Lovely. Okay, I brought out, okay, I, this is funny. So I have a container. Normally when I do factory packs, I put, these hold 50 grams. So I put 50 in here and then I take the bag and I um, usually tape it with scotch tape to close it, kind of roll it and put it in one of these. <laughs> There's no way that's going to fit in there. It might, you know what, it might fit if I poured them all in. Oh, 
Although I don't think they're all gonna fit. Ooh. Get this on. <laughs> I need help. Look at that. There's still like these are so beautiful. Oh my goodness. I've been wanting to do some bead embroidery with bugles. And you do them so that they're like in a line and they create like different um, shapes and stuff as how you line them up. It, it's really stunning. So these would be lovely. Okay. <laughs> My first um, thing, and I can't figure out what to do. I need a new bead storage. That's what I tell my wife. Every time we go somewhere, I'm like, okay, Emma's looking for plastic containers to put the beads in. She's so, she's so nice. She's like, okay, is this what you were looking for? Yummy! These are beautiful. So these are 250 gram bags. This is probably my favorite color of 11-0 silver seed beads. They're called metallic silver. Um, they have like a gray hue to them. And let me see. I'll show you the regular. This one is... Um, this one's called silver metal, but you can see, look at the difference. So these are my two favorites. I do have some silver that looks yellow. And I don't particularly like that one. But let me see if I can find one. Oh, maybe this one. That's gold. Of course it's yellow, it's gold. <laughs> So this one is a little more kind of yellowish, but it's it's getting closer to this one here. Let me see what this one is. Silky silver. So you can imagine there's all kinds of silvers, right? But this is the one I like. But I kind of like grayish, metallic, silvery anyway. But so let's get back to work, Emma. Time with playing with the beads is over. There's bead work to do. <laughs> so these are so lovely. So you can get, um, just to let you know, on um, Amazon, both the American and Canadian Amazon site, you can get these factory packs for like really good prices um, from the craft shop. So I will put a link to the craft shop site. I know that some people have said it, for the American one that they had a hard time getting um, finding that site on Amazon, but um, it should be able to do it with the link. So we'll, I'll try and do that for you. So yeah. I'm, I'm hesitating because I do have some left of these, but you know what? My tubes of those are down to about here. <laughs> and I put them in um, project trays, and then I'm like, where's my beads? I can't find my beads. They're on your desk, Eva, where you left them. Oh. Getting a little excited there. You know it's going to happen. The first time I open this cap. Oh, it's heavy. Yeah, the first time I open the cap, there's going to be beads everywhere. I'm going to try to put some back in. I know myself. One time, I opened a cap of 50 no seed beads. And they had filled them to the top. And even the cap was not on all the way because the beads were like so high up. And they, those are those ones that sit inside. And I finally got it open and there was like 15 OC beads everywhere. I was, I was like, no, my beads are going away. 
don't leave me, my precious. Okay, let me get my scotch tape. Get a piece of tape so they just don't get. And I should mark these. I had a sheet. That's what happens when you clean your dust off. Okay, well, we'll have to do it later. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I didn't know where to put these. Okay. these out I'm gonna pay attention this time <gasps> so much for paying attention wow these are beautiful They are so lovely. Okay, where's my cap? You can see the difference, eh? Isn't that amazing? Okay, let's see if I can get this. Oh, let's do it this way. I got some black so I was surprised I was doing some projects and I was running out of black so I got the black 11 O's the black 8 O's and I got some whites we'll get to the whites yeah it's opaque black that hole smaller. Let's take a look at them. Oh, look at those are pretty. Wow. That's lovely. I still can't believe when I look at these that these are glass. That's just amazing. It's amazing what we do with them. Okay, I think I have like little, you know, um, eight gram tubes and that's it. Okay, we're going to do some beading. I keep looking for my caps and I have them sitting in a dish. Oh, I need help. They're lovely. Here, let's keep them all going the same way. In case you're wondering, I don't like uneven. Can you tell I'm OCD? I don't like all these jagged. So I use my scissors to cut usually, but I feel like you guys are bored. Are you guys bored? <laughs> Do you know what? I, I said this in the last video. I am not a big watcher of bead unboxings because the beads don't belong to me. So how can I get excited about it? Yes, I'm a child. <laughs> so. Okay. 
I need to do a total reorg of my office again because of this. I, I, this does sound a bit like I'm complaining. I'm so not complaining. I have to do a reorg because Carmi keeps sending me more beads. And you know, if you're a beater, you want to see all your beads. You want to see the colors. You want to see the sizes and shapes. You want to know what's available at your fingertips. So they have to be organized in a way to do that, which I, yeah, I need some work on that one. I found some really f interesting um, plastic containers or, or shelving. They're used for like makeup um, brushes and stuff like that. So these uh, sit in there perfectly and they're, they're stacked like little stairs. So you can see actually what's in Side your containers but I don't I think my bead office is getting too too over it's not overloaded let's let's rephrase that it's um we need to expand <gasps> My wife used to joke all the time that she was going to have to reinforce the floor because of the amount of beads in my office. <laughs> She's right. I've had a couple of shelves fall because of the weight of the beads. These are problems only a beater understands. <laughs> there let's do the other white ones keep the, the the sparkly although I'll tell you what the white beads make me just as happy as the so oh these are I'm so excited oh. <laughs> I know I shouldn't shake my beads opaque white made in the Czech Republic this is stunning I when are we going any has anybody been with Jill Wiseman to the uh, press the um, Czech Republic? She does like every summer, I think. She does a tour. Okay, let's cut it on this side. It might make it easier to open. And let's show you all of these loveliness. You know what I'd love to do? This is like so crazy. It just it just came to me in a vision. <laughs> Put all the beads I own <laughs> in the bathtub and do like an art installation. <laughs> I, the bathtub would have to be clear so you could see all the beads through it. And then it's like just bathe yourself in beads. Okay, I didn't think that went through. You know what? It's bad enough. Us beaters, we're picking beads out of every uh, area of the house. My wife, she's like, reach down on the carpet. How she sees it, I don't know. She'll like, what's this, Emma? Do you think the cat could choke on this? I'm like, it's been there for a week. He hasn't touched it. I don't think he's going to, it doesn't taste like chicken. Now, we had another cat that's no longer with us. His name was Buddy, and he must have lived on the street. They were rescues, and he ate everything. So I was like, it was like having a two-year-old in the house all the time. Worse, because like little, like plastic like this, the plastic, that bag that hangs out of your garbage can he would just pull that and and he, his teeth were so sharp he'd rip the whole half of the bag off and swallow it gone <laughs> i'm like oh get back here buddy 
and I'm like trying to put my hand in his throat to get it out. But Jax, I think maybe he's not smart enough to do that. He's like, no, I'll wait till they feed me. He woke me up this morning. 5 a.m. at the bedroom door crying and he never meows at the door. I don't know what it was. So these are opaque white. Yeah. Yeah, I was running out. I had like I only had about that much. And I'm like, I'm not going to Michael's <laughs> to get almost though. It was it was a close call. So you know what? Since we're looking at white beads and I just finished doing the black ones. If you're doing a lot of um, bead weaving or even if you're doing you're new to beading so I wish I'd have known this before is to get some of the staples so black and white opaque um, silver the metallic so the silver the gold and then start to add in the colors that you like like turquoise is a pretty popular color too so I still have a shelf full of um, small tubes of beads that I got from art beads when they'd have their dollar bead sales and I still have them that's like four years ago and you know what? I go to that shelf pretty regular when I'm looking for something, a specific color, and it's a big shelf, and I still can't find the color I want. <laughs> so I think the best thing to do is stick with the traditional, the basic colors, and then supplement. You know, I tell you this advice in, in trying to help you not make this same mistakes I made but I cannot um, say anything about it because I did it myself like oh. <laughs> beads beads are life <laughs> if you've seen them oh I can't remember the name Ted Lasso about the basketball, uh, the uh, football or soccer, as we call it here in Canada in the states. There's one of the uh, players says, "Football is life. Beads are life." So these are chalk luster. says Terra. I'm wondering if these are the Terra Intensives Pearl White. Um, these are gorgeous. Uh, we got We have to take a look at this. I'm, try I'm trying to make my hole smaller. It's not working. Oh my, 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 my. You know what? It's hard to tell on the screen. The screen's picking up the whiteness of it, but it has like an off-white kind of cream color to it, but still white, but very pearlicious. These are lovely. Let's get to beading. Okay, that's it. No more unboxing. I can't get through the whole unboxing. I just want to bead so much. I just love it. I just think it's incredible that you can sit down with some thread and a needle with the beads. And an hour later have this beautiful creation that you made and you can wear. Or you can give as a gift. It's just like incredible. So we were swimming today and then we had some 
shopping to do and I said to Jen I said you know I have it that's why I don't like this tape. <laughs> um, I said I have a, a shipment coming now I've um, told them they can leave it at the door we don't have any issues with uh, porch pirates but you know what? I was laughing. If somebody tried to pick up this box off of my deck, <laughs> they'd put their back out. Okay, where to, where to? I, this is getting... So here's another color that you have to have. I don't know about you, but I end up looking for the right color red and then I realized I only have a couple of red so this one's transparent garnet matte oh this one's beautiful this is like cherries or cranberries whoa look at that oh these are beautiful wow these are gorgeous. Oh. I am making a wreath. You know what? Sneak peek time. We have to do a sneak peek. Rather than describe it to you, I have to show you. And it's, I'm going to do the video. <laughs> They're everywhere. Um, yeah. Let me fill this one and I'll grab it. It's right on the next desk. But yeah, we should I'm going to be doing it probably tomorrow the video for this wreath. Let's fix this. Let's cut that piece off. I don't like it. You know, like. Watch, this one's going to do the same. I need a better scotch tape uh, dispenser. Okay. I'm back. This is what... <laughs> For earrings. Isn't that amazing? They are so so the reason I was saying about the red for the berries, the holly berries. And these are mini duos. This turned out amazing. And then I did a yellow um Swarovski bicone, so it kinda has the shape of a flame. And I continued to use the red thread to go through, so it gave it a bit of a it looked like the, the flame was red in the middle. And we're going to do earrings with these, but you can do whatever. So I did this one here. This is just a basic circular peyote. You do three rows of uh, 11 O's on one side and then these little crystals here. And then you do the other side, you do three rows and the crystals. And you zip it up together and then add that. Super simple, easy, but beautiful. But then I was like, like, I really like the way this turned out. But when you're doing these, you're doing the one side and then the other, um, it looks really cool this way. And I thought, you know what? I might try to do some. So I've zipped these together without zipping the crystals, just the 11 O's. So they're like firm. They're not going to separate or anything. And uh, we could do the same kind of embellishment with the mini duos and of course I had to do like a retro pink one so video tomorrow see when that comes out there it goes there let's grab these so these are gray silver line opal dyed alabaster and, oh, this is like those cellophane bags, so that's probably why they double bagged it. These are gorgeous. 
I had maybe 20 grams of these. I didn't know where I bought them. And I was like, oh, I have to get some more. And there are 11 O's. Yeah. Smoked gray, silver lined, opal alabaster. Oh, these are gorgeous. We're going to have some confetti here soon of <laughs> different beads. Look at how amazing these are. Oh, whoa, they are sparkly. Oh, okay, we're going to make a wreath with one of these with this color. I need all of them. They're all my friends. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Oh. I'm still looking for the caps. Okay. Let me fold that side over. Piling high. Okay, let's take a look at these. These are opaque blue matte. Navy blue matte. Wow. These are gorgeous. Yeah, that's too big. Let's see if I can get them this way. Oh, these are <laughs> gorgeous. <gasps> Look at that. These are so beautiful. Wow. Oh my, 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 my. These are incredible. The, I, you know what? I'm kind of nutty when it comes to beads. I feel like they're like little gems in my hand. And I'm so lucky to be able to to keep them. Like I say to my wife, Mommy, can I keep them? She's like, yeah, well, you paid for them. Okay, this is... <laughs> I see an accident. Coming up soon. <laughs> Clean up on aisle two. Oh, it's not working. You know, it's the way I cut it. I need to develop a uh, system like some machine that sh funnels them down. <laughs> oh, wait, it's called a funnel. These are amazing. We still have a few. I'm saving the very sparkly ones for last. That silver one, this, this gray one, got out of the uh, line. Needed to be seen. So huge thank you to John Bede for giving me this opportunity to play with these incredible beads. So shall we stick with the blue theme? <laughs> this is crazy. It doesn't even fit on the screen. Woo. Oh my god. These are more spectacular than I thought. So these are 110 
One pound bag, royal transparent, made in Japan. One pound. Okay, let me see if I can do a better job. Because I'm cutting them on the wrong angle, I think. <laughs> That's even worse. What am I doing? <gasps> oh, these are unbelievable. They, uh, I keep looking at the camera to see what you're seeing. And honestly, the, the color is spectacular. So again, it's called Royal Transparent. Wow. These are unbelievable. They have like a, um, like a rainbow AB on them and they have like a bit of a silver look to them and it's everywhere it's inside the hole as well as outside there's lots of like um purples and turquoise different colors that is spectacular wowzer okay yeah we need to do some serious beating Winter's coming. We can stay positive and do some beating and have some fun times. Okay, this is scary. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have an accident. Whoa. I don't know if you can see it this way. You can kind of see some of the AB. I heard you. Somebody's like, oh, put the lid on them before you drop them all. So, yeah, there's like turquoise, orange, purple, like all these kind of wild colors. That's stunning. Oh, amazing. Woohoo. How did I even find this? I spent a lot of time looking. It's research. <laughs> We're watching TV at night after dinner. Jen's like, are you watching TV or are you playing with your tablet? <laughs> Yes, I'm 14. And I'm like, no, no, I'm doing research. Carmi gave me an assignment. It's all her fault. She said, Emma, go to the website. Pick out what you would like. And I'll send them to you. Okay. That sounds like a really hard job. I'm going to do that. Right now. So then we have this another made in Japan. These are 11 -0. Royal Silver Lined. <coughs> yeah. I think I made that hole too small. Oh, the, the bag's all... It's not behaving. Whoa, look at these. these. <laughs> what? These are amazing. Oh, these are so cool. Let's see if we can get these guys in. In my clean. I don't know how this is going to work. Oh. 
Don't make a mess. I was, um, I've been admiring, like, sets of beads. Sometimes you see them on Etsy where people have curated, you know, fall colors of the seed beads. If you're a seed bead freak like me, you know what I'm talking about. Um, Potomac beads and Jill Wiseman has them too. And then... I, you know, started communicating with John Bede and they were so lovely to let me pick stuff. And um, I've been wanting to do like a, you know, a curated bunch of beads and uh, still <laughs> can't get organized. But um, yeah, this is just as much fun. So this one is, oh, made in India. So these ones are not consistent in shape I can I can see just from the outside of the bag but they were so beautiful and I think they were like ridiculously priced so like silly it made no sense not to get them so so we're gonna love them just as much as all the other beads because they deserve to be loved we got some bead love going on. Oh, they're gorgeous. Oh, what? They are lovely. So you can see there's like a, a weird skinny one. And then there's like, there's another long one. So depending, I, you know what? I would totally use these to do some hippie beads. Then it doesn't matter the size. That's a lot of hippie beads you're saying. I'm sure we could figure out what to do with these. You have to step out of your comfort. And I speak, I'm talking to myself here. Step out of your comfort zone of matchy matchy, same size beads, same color groups or families, and, and try something totally different. And... Some crazy things happen when you do that. It's a lot of fun. And I find I do stuff like that and then I say, I can't believe. It just came out of nowhere. Like I wasn't even thinking ahead of time I'm going to do this. It just started developing. And that's so much fun to explore your creativity with beads. Because you never know how it's going to... Felt and there's like 500 grams. These are like so cheap. Okay. Then we have these are from the Czech Republic 11 clear line turquoise. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I forgot what I ordered. <laughs> I can hear you guys saying, No, not you, Emma. <gasps> oh my gosh. This is unbelievable. These are so beautiful. <laughs> Did you hear Jen in the background? She's like, Oh my god. We're going to the club. The bead club. Oh my. Oh, I need to breathe. Breathe. Oh my gosh. These are so gorgeous. Oh, they are lovely. I'm like, I'm trying to think, okay, what can I do with these right away? Like, how many times have I said that during this unboxing? I'm like stunned. This is amazing. I, you know what? I have to thank John Beat so much. It's incredible. 
what they've done for me, and then I think on a bigger scale what they've done for the beading community. I'm sure if you look at your stash, I'll probably at least 50% of what you have is from John Bead. And it's it's an amazing thing what they did. Like they left after the war and came to Canada. And as immigrants started this company, and it's huge now. I don't, I can't, I can't pick. They're all my favorites. They're all my babies. I don't know. This one's pretty spectacular. Holy, I'm going to lose my voice. You know what? There's more. There's two more. And they're phenomenal, the ones coming up. Okay, who wants to come over to Emma's house to help organize her office? And you, I'll do a goodie bag for you. Look <laughs> it. I can't believe. You know what? I think I have some of these. So these are 11 OC bead metal light teal soul gel from the Czech Republic. I think I may have had like a little eight millimeter, um, not eight gram bag of it. No, you know what? I don't even think I've had those. I, I might have some that look a bit green. Somebody gave me or something. These are unbelievable. Oh my gosh. These are incredible. I, I can't believe it. Wow. This to me is like a silver bead with a blue turquoise hue. Oh, it's like incredible. It's like the most incredible ocean blue you've seen. These are unbelievable. I cannot believe how gorgeous they are. Wow. Look at this. Oh, these are so pretty. I will be doing some giveaways. I haven't done... I've done a few in, in the last couple of months. And I've had a really poor um, response to it. And then I had some issues with people just not claiming the prizes. And I feel really bad for the people that are part of my channel all the time that don't get picked. And it's not that they don't get picked. It's it's a draw. So I don't have a choice in the matter. But it, it I find it frustrating. Now... I'd like to do some, especially with all these supplies now, but <laughs> we're the, we have a mail strike here in Canada, so I have no idea when there's going to be shipping. Um, so stay tuned in the new year. We'll definitely have some giveaways. I love to share. It's next to beating is probably my most favorite thing to do. So hang in there and big thank you we just hit 32,000 subscribers I'm so excited and a big thank you to John Beat for that because they've been working hard to get their viewers both on Instagram and Facebook to come to my site so and welcome to the new subscribers if you have any um things you want me to do in the video or you know I'm open to suggestions so or if you're you're not sure I have I started out with um, a couple of months ago I was up to 12,000 videos and what I did was I refined it because some of the older videos were they were okay, but they needed some improvement. So if I had redone the video already, I just deleted it. So I'm back down to about um, just under 800, um, yeah, 800 videos. So 
there's definitely a video of everything. <laughs> if you think there's a video you might want to see, let me know. I bet you any money I've done it. So, CB Transparent Green Copper Lined Czech Republic. I'm a big fan of green. Oh my gosh. This is what we have to do the wreaths with. Perfect timing. <laughs> These are so gorgeous. There's like a, because it's copper lined, there's like a reddish color on the inside of the bead. This is so pretty. You can kind of see it. Oh, we have like two of these left. I bought, I just ordered a new case of them. So I got to figure out a way to stack these so I can see what I have. This hole is too big. It's going to fall all over the place. Oh. Yummy. Oh my goodness. So if you heard Jen go by joking about my expression of opening beads, <laughs> that's because it's dinner time. <laughs> You know what? My dad used to work. He built a shop in our backyard and he did like woodwork and stuff like that. So he used to work in the shop and my mom would tell us kids to go get him. Dinner was ready. It was like, dear, dear, your supper's ready. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll be right there. Guess what? That's me. Oh my gosh, look at this. <laughs> Thank you so much, Carmi. Oh my gosh, this is like a dream come true. I just, you guys are so amazing. I kind of knew that when I first kind of like woke up to John Beads because I think I sent the email and got a response the very next day, a really excited response. And we started communicating. And um, so I got excited. I thought, you know, I know I have some stuff that's John Bede. And I looked at my desk and I had like a bunch of bottles like these of beads that I ordered on Amazon. And every last one was John Bede. And I'm like, why did I not? Why was it not in my consciousness? because they're so amazing <laughs> what can I say so thanks for joining me this was a long one I hope you're into seed beads because that's what it was <laughs> but stay tuned for some lovely designs <laughs> yummy <laughs> take care everyone bye